Richard, tomorrow Credit Suisse kicks off the reporting season for the investment banks. Obviously, we're expecting to see a lot of cost cutting going on. Um, what's going on in that area? It, it is a, a sector that needs to cut costs, in fact. And we saw this morning in the FT that uh, UBS is planning thousands of, of job cuts, possibly. Um, we may not hear about that in next week's third quarter results when it reports. But the key thing for investment banks is that they're suffering real difficulty in maintaining business volumes because clients are staying on the sideline. The only thing that's really propping them up at the moment is this wall of cheap money, whether it's QE3 in the US or in Europe, the, the promise of uh, outright market transactions or talk of outright market transactions. So things are artificially supported at the moment. Because of that, banks still need to keep a very close eye on their overheads if they're going to make money. So. There is that discipline at the moment that needs to be needs to be the main focus of these results. Okay, and then what else should we be looking for? Um, so obviously, there's a lot going on with capital requirements at the moment. Um, you know, there's also signs that there's some slackening. Um, so, so what's going on with the banks there? That's right. And it, everyone is trying to adhere to Basel III reforms, and the the strange thing is that regulators have given banks until 2019 to implement these, but. The market, investors in effect, have, have forced banks to start adhering to those ratios early from next year already. And what's happened is that banks, particularly in the UK, have built up a relatively strong amount of capital um, since the crisis. And the UK regulator in recent weeks has indicated that he's prepared to let banks go a little bit easy on perhaps getting to the absolute level. He's, he's saying you can have a level of capital, but we don't need to worry exactly about the core tier one ratio. Now that has some dangers. Well, exactly. I mean, you make the point that um, if there's slackening, obviously banks are going to take advantage, um, but also that investors played played a role in this. Yes, there's a there's, there's a real chance here. I mean, banks banks can be um, their own worst enemies. There's a real chance that banks see the opportunity that they don't have to have um, a core tier one to risk weighted assets ratio of X, and so they think, well, let's go and leverage up again. And all banks have been deleveraging, getting rid of assets, shrinking their balance sheets since the crisis, some faster than others. I mean, in Germany, a case that stands out, looks a bit like a bit of regulatory forbearance, is, is Deutsche Bank, which has a relatively low, fully blown Basel III capital ratio of about 7.2%. Now, um, that, that is a bit, out of, a bit out of kilter with the rest of the market that's heading for 9 10%. So lots of different competitive things, but the real risk either way, and Deutsche probably is going to show good results next week, is that banks will be tempted to play hard when there's less regulatory pressure on them. So overall tomorrow with results um, kicking off, we should see more in terms of cost cutting. And then in terms of cap capital requirements, some slackening, but of course um, banks will take advantage of that. Um, thank you, Richard.